What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are going to say no, no, no to Turam and to Vieira and Nesta. And we're going to go all the way over here to the speedsters and say yes, yes, yes to Rudiger. He's an absolute beast. He's 100% free. He's super easy to unlock. And I'm going to do a deep dive on these players. Now, we are going to be doing a dedicated player review of Rudy, who is the top pick in here. And we're going to do gameplay, break down his build, everything. But I'm going to show you the players that I recommend here from this pack. We'll focus on the speedsters first, and then we'll do a double pack with these two. But if you are new to the game, you only have to play 15 games, and you will unlock with the match pass. You don't have to spend a penny or a cent. You will play 15 matches across any mode, and you will get 15 matches unlocked, which will give you a 5-star nominating contract. And that will mean that you can sign every single player in here. We're also going to do a review of the match pass with Saliba and stuff. But smash that like button if you want to see it. And let me know in the comments below. But for this, we're just going to give a brief overview. And I'm going to show you the ultimate build that I have for Rudiger. And then the follow-up video will be a dedicated gameplay review of Rudiger, okay? So this is part of the Speedster nominating contracts. Now listen, we signed Adama Traore on day one and Rudiger. Adama is a four-star and Rudiger is a five-star, okay? Rudiger, lads, is essentially one of the best players in the game at the moment. I'm going to show you a comparison between a couple of other Rudiger cards, and I'm going to show you a comparison between other destroyers in the game as well. But he is an absolute beast, right? He's so good, man. He's amazing. His player ID, his AI, he's down as a destroyer. We're going to show you the ultimate build for him as well in just a second. But he is the ultimate pick here, okay? 84 aggression straight off the rip. Three main stats you need to focus on if you're looking for a destroyer center back, okay? Different than a build-up, different than a defensive fullback or an extra front man or anything like that. The three main stats you need to look at with the current gameplay is tackling, aggression, and speed. If you can get that, and you will notice, right? You will notice with the new Nesta, you will notice with the best center backs in the game, whether it's Aldair or Maldini. They'll have that speed around 85, and every defensive stat's way up into the 95+. plus. Uh, kind of category, right? The one thing that's always stopped Rudiger from being, you know, the most meta player in the game is his lack of levels. Three or four more levels in this card, lads, and you're talking about him compared to, you know, comparing him to any meta player in the game. This Rudiger also has blocker from the rip. He's got area superiority, sliding tackle of fighting spirit, with man marking and interception. The only thing he's missing is acrobatic clearance. But honestly, boys, he is insane in the game. Absolutely insane. As I said, we will have a follow-up gameplay video as well. You also have Chesney. He's got 78 speed, the fastest goalkeeper in the game. Other than that, with 19 levels, he's just an average goalkeeper. I never really recommend five-star goalkeepers from these packs when you can get Rudiger. And even at that, I also think that Williams is a really good option as well. Really good speed and acceleration. You've got the finishing that is going to be a little bit down and only 23 levels to get it up. But it's not a bad card. I mean, you've got Flip Flap to start you off if you want to get ball roll on him. You've got Chip Shot Control. You could do worse, lads, honestly. You could do worse by getting the match pass, spending 50 coins because you get, you know, it costs you 250, you get 200 back. We'll cover that in another video. And getting Williams and Rudiger and, and basically getting Adama Traore as well and having three guys like that. Even Okafor is a five-star. He's a good option as well. But we, I do think that he is quite decent. You also have a Roman flank right midfielder. This is a guy that has got a ton of player skills. He's got double touch and soul control and super sub. You can give him flip flap. It will be nice on him that you'll have the ball roll. Very nice levels to train him up as well. Super speed and balance. The tight possession can just about go to 90s with the manager boost. And another good option. I think if this guy was a four star, he'd be a no brainer. But I do feel like Porto and Adama Traore. Adama Traore with his speed. 90 and 88 acceleration for uh, his speed and acceleration is huge. Physical contact is a very unique card. Kind of reminds me of Hulk in the classic Pez games. I don't know about you guys, but he's also got flip flap, soul control and double touch. So he's got ball roll from the rip and he's got aerial superiority as well. Absolutely insane card. But listen, his tight possession is really, really poor. So usually with these cards, you have got a card that might have good balance, but he's going to have poor uh, positioning or poor tight possession or poor finishing or poor passing. Adama Traore is genuinely just going to be brought on for the last couple of minutes and just trying, you know, run at the game. Um, but when Mbappe can be caught by Harry Maguire, you know that his main attributes are not going to be shining through. Porto, as well as a whole playing attack midfielder, has actually got some decent pace for that position. Good balance, good tight possession. We'll go mid-80s while still having the finishing at the 80s as well. He's got 29 levels. In-game face. Missing a, a couple of key player skills. For, uh, you know, one-touch pass is a huge one for a whole player not to have. 
he has no low lofted true passing away to pass there's a lot of work to do with this you know player but again as a four star it's not bad i would definitely recommend adama Traore um and rudiger as your two free if you have them Belanova, this guy as well as a right back there's a ton of right backs in the game that are speedy that are fast he's on d rate and so i don't recommend him this week but um again missing a lot of player skills he's got speed and bullet nearly crosser on the d rate and i don't recommend him this week but see how it progresses and obviously with the domestic leagues winding down now rating is going to take a little bit more uh, stock there but again it's just a fairly okay card we've already covered chesney and of course we do have okafor now a lot of people talking to me about this guy he's 23 years of age he's a goal poacher he's got blistering pace he's also got really good balance and finishing is quite average but it's okay for the type of player that you're going to go in he's got flip flap and soul control he's also got super subs you can give him double touch you're going to have ball roll you're going to have a card that's very similar in my opinion to Raphael Leao it's not going to be as good but it's a more direct non-dribbling version of Raphael Leao in terms of scoring goals cut behind and turn is really nice as well if you learn that I'm working on the skills tutorial and showing you exactly how all of these work and when to use them I would say there's only probably about three skills you can use online that will really work but ball roll is definitely one of them long range curler is always nice and he has heel trick and super sub off the rip with 34 levels it's very very nice if you guys want to see builds for these let me know they're very simple cards to build up boys you're literally just going to be getting their balance any card that you run with i will be doing a dedicated video on with the new player reset and the training guides on them but it's all about rudiger lads honestly i'm going to show you my build of rudiger and i'm going to show you how he actually is in game in the next video that we do let's sorry my throat is sore i keep having to swallow um but yeah my throat is really sore we have been playing a double pivot here of rudiger and saliba that was kind of the squad that we did with this two this duo in midfield here with Rijkaard and Vieira or else we were swapping out Saliba um you know and bringing Vieira there or whatever but like with this squad yes we have obviously a lot of firepower we've an insane squad um we'll get into Turam as well because we got donations on the stream again earlier there about an hour ago we did the stream Rudiger and Saliba Saliba is also going to be featured in a new video because he's a free player essentially as well that you can get well it's about you know with the match pass but this Rudiger, as a destroyer, lads, is insane. 88 speed, 88 defensive engagement, 88 jumping, and 89 physical contact. A bit weak on the heading, um, but his defending, defensive stats are amazing. Now, when we played on stream last Thursday, it was an 11-hour stream. It was absolutely crazy. We did sign Rudiger, and we got to the top 69th rank in the world. We were top 69 in the world um, when the rating was reset. So, like, we were literally... Our highest ever rank, I'd say, obviously within that, because everyone is rank is reset, so there's no division one or whatever, with that push for about 15 games we played. Rudiger was a big part of that. And I'm gonna show you in the next video a couple of clips of him, but that is the build that we gone for we have gone for there at Rudiger. So it's essentially eight into lower body, four into aerial, twelve into defending, and that's pretty much it. He doesn't have a massive amount of levels. Don't worry about acceleration. We're going to show you in the, in, the, in the next build of him, right? So I definitely recommend him. I think he's an absolute beast. If you're looking to compare him with other cards, right? If you're looking at other cards in this, and you're talking about cards that... I think at this stage now, lads, I think people get a little bit confused sometimes, including myself, as to what card is really dominating for you. Because every game is kind of different. This is Rudiger compared to his older player of the week version. They're both 98 overall. You can see they're the both our destroyers. This card here doesn't have blocker. The old player of the week card doesn't have blocker, um, but he does have acrobatic clearance. This new version of Rudiger has blocker, um, but he doesn't have uh, acrobatic clearance, as we said there. So it's kind of a mix and match. It's six of one and a half dozen of the other. That's the build that we went for, and those are the stats that you get there. So the new Rudiger that we can get for free that we're doing has less jumping and physical contact but he has better speed you know he's seven better speed he's got less heading but he's got better defensive awareness and tackling and aggression and better defensive engagement so he's a way better defensive option we also had one of our favorite ever rudiger cards from way back here which is kind of more on par with him speed 85 versus 88 kicking power jumping physical contact all in around two to three uh, extra stats stamina the same defensive awareness the old school Rudiger was an absolute machine and there was a reason why he was one of the best players in the game for a long time. He still holds up in this card, but he did not have a lot of skills. So he didn't have, uh, you know, a blocker either or fighting spirit. So this new Rudiger is definitely the best of both worlds that way if you can sacrifice a little bit of heading and, and jump, which you can get around as well. 
So that is it, lads, for the Rudiger card. I definitely recommend Rudy and Okafor and Adama Traore as well if you haven't got those. Let me know what you guys think. It's just a quick review of my recommendations, and we'll see you in the next one with Rudiger. Rudiger? Yeah, Rudiger and Saliba next up.